Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Firefox version 104 is now available, and this latest release for desktop was made available earlier today in my region on the 23rd of August 2022. Now, in this latest release for desktop, we have a couple of new features, three in total, some fixes, and then we get the important security fixes that are also made available with the version upgrades. Now, the first new feature is that subtitles are now available for Disney Plus while watching in picture in picture mode. And then the second uh, new feature is that version 104 intros support the scroll snap stop. And that I think would mainly be of interest uh, to web developers, but nonetheless, the intros in version 104 support the scroll snap stop. And then the third new feature um, that's been made available. Um, which I think would be the key highlight um, in this release is that the Firefox profiler can now analyze power usage of a website. But this is only available for Apple M1 and Windows 11 users only at this stage. So if you are on any other operating system or Windows 10, um, you're not going to see this new feature. And uh, that's the profiler can analyze power usage of a website. Um, and that means that uh, the performance of the main Firefox UI, the user interface itself, is now throttled um, when the browser is minimized or obscured. In, and, and that's very similar to um, the way the background tabs are throttled to um, just save system resources and increase performance. So you don't only get background tabs throttling now in version 104. Um, the um, whole user interface now can um, basically... Uh, be throttled to save system resources so that's a bit of a, a a performance boost now in this latest release and that should help improve battery usage on a battery powered device um, and when running on laptops and similar devices using battery and then um, just to head to those fixes and mention those quickly um, highlight color is preserved correctly now after typing enter in the mail composer of yahoo mail and outlook and uh, bypassing the HTTPS only error page, navigating back, would take you to the error page that was previously dismissed. And that's been fixed now. So back now takes you to the previous site that was visited. And then the third and final fix uh, is that um, uh, the shortcut to paste unformatted text, which is shift control and V on Windows. And that would be shift command and V on Mac works in plain text contexts now in version 104 and that's more or less the key highlights and fixes and if you'd like to see if you have this latest release and um, we always just head to the menu help about firefox and this will force and uh, push the update in the browser if it hasn't updated already and that latest release now is version 104.0 and then we click on the what's new which will take us to the release notes and i've mentioned the key highlights those fixes and then we get to those all important security fixes that have now been made available in version 104. And in total, there are six um, security uh, fixes that have rolled out to address uh, vulnerabilities in the browser. And out of those six uh, vulnerabilities, four of those are high. So that's memory safety bugs fixed in Firefox 104. Uh, another memory safety bugs fixed in version 104. And then the third um, high impact vulnerability that's been addressed is uh, cross origin XSLT documents would have inherited the parents' permissions. So that's been addressed. And then address bar spoofing via the XSLT error handling. That's the fourth and final um, high impact vulnerability that's been addressed. So in total, six vulnerabilities have been fixed, and four of those are high impact vulnerabilities that this latest security update to the browser addresses so that's it that's more or less what's new in version 104 and as mentioned i would say and consider the key highlight to be that the firefox profiler can now analyze power usage of a website and as mentioned that's only available for apple m1 and windows 11 users only so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one